Alright, Charles Edgar Hampton today uh, on behalf of the Variety Tube channel going to disassemble a MyTouch T model. It's an LG. It's made by T-Mobile, probably hence the T. So, anyway, going to start off, take off the back panel, remove the battery. Just a FYI, the reason that we're doing this is because the person's power button is not responding. It's you can hear it clicking, so the spring is there, but um, just about to see what's what. All you need is one of the tiny Phillips head screwdrivers. That's it. If you've ever replaced a screen or something, you shouldn't have any trouble. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws you'll need to remove for this part. point what you're going to do is pick an edge this is where it's going to separate I have really sharp nails and hard nails so I can dig mine in there and you'll hear them pop put one in and you can use the safe pry tool guitar pick actually will work too and slide around notice the curve is going this way not that way so towards the back of the phone as far as for whatever needs to happen. So anyway, leave one back to prevent it from snapping back shut. It does happen. And just slide all the way around. The power button may come out. Don't worry about that. Also the volume rocker uh, may come out as well. And you can put again? those back with no problem. need to replace the back speaker that's this part right here and you can see it is magnetized um, move these buttons out of the way you're looking at the back of the phone flip it over on the bottom right hand corner there's a little niche you can just put a screwdriver down there pick up and that's your external rear speaker it's normally held onto the back of the phone by a little bit of glue right there and there. You can use rubber cement if you like, not that big a deal. Point it again, the rubber cement. Pardon? Pardon where it's glued? Okay. Glue will be right here and where the glue will be right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, next point. Gonna take off the main board if you need it to. Also, going to go on and point out, this is the problem with this particular person's phone. Remember, the power button doesn't work. It utilizes ribbon cables, and right there, this is broken off. So, that's the problem, and that's what happened, and that's why the power button no longer responds. Also, if you notice, it's also a part of the charge, so her battery also could be dead. Uh, so, anyway, take off the main board. Need to remove this bracket that's holding the USB port. Separate your silver screws. It's really only, depending on how far you're going, it's two of them. This, 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 and this are what needs to come up. So, again, one, two, three, well, not three. One, two, three, four, and five, and six need to come up. So, this you can just pinch it. This pulls up here again, a pry. In my case, my nail. Just pull up. Again, there, pull up. This whole thing will come off now. You can remove that bracket. And this is just glued on. You can see the remnants of the glue. Whatever, but anyway, that's the USB little port charge thingy. Um, and that's what broke. So clearly if I were um, 
that wasn't already broke, then I would just have folded it over. Also, that's flexible in case you do buy another power button. The route of that ribbon is right there. Just gently pull it up. Really, this will just pry off. It's just kind of pressed in because I'm not taking off the front of the phone. It's in the touch plate of the phone because she's sending this back to get a new one, which is rather already on the way. So anyway, take off that one. Take off that one. This is off. That's off. Take off the one for the camera. And pick it up from the back. Move these out of the way. Mm -hmm. Alright, now all you will do is pull it towards the bottom of the phone. You may need to move the uh, other plugs out of the way. Not that bad. Not that serious. Just be gentle. So anyway, that's the main board of the phone that is removed. So, if by chance you needed to replace the screen, you can do so by this little tiny notch. It's in between the home button. The tiny notch in between the home button and the back button. You can take again a uh, clearly a flat head and just pry up wedge your way around gently. Pretty sure there are a couple of screws up under there. And that'll pretty much be, uh, for the most part, a complete disassemble. But, like I said, I'm not going to damage the screen because this one is getting sent back to the factory uh, for the broken power button. So, now time to put it back together. Same way, sliding in. Definitely don't rush. Pretty much kind of pops back into place. You can reconnect all the cables. One. Two should be just a little snap, just be cautious. The volume assembly slides down. There's a very small notch. You can see right there a gray piece of metal that's in between that kind of holds that in place. There's another similar one, like I said, just over there for the whole power button thing. Again, there's just glue down there. So if you were to take, again, a flat one and press it up off of that metal, you'd be more than fine. So anyway, moving on forward. Reconnect. That one's a little toughish, but it goes the white cable to the... Female housing slips over the male. Just press it on down. Double check all of them are back connected. Alright. Replacing the um, broken USB charge port. Again, that just snaps right on down. You heard it. That'll go down on in there. Replace the bracket back on. If you notice, there are one, two, three, four. The top ones are on the outside. The bottom ones are on the middle. Same thing here. Top ones on the outside. Bottom in the middle. Or in between. Another silver screw. I'm saying other, but the I'm only doing the one because I'm not taking off the screen. But if you were, that would be this part down here. That would be the quote other one. So if you needed to 
take it farther, which we're not doing. So, the external speaker, it'll go on and snap back in there. Snap, you're fine. Oh, volume buttons can be some trouble. I'll suggest once you put the buttons in, put it down, take the top of the phone, or rather the main part of the phone, and adjust it to that. So when you're putting this part in, there are a couple of notches back there. This one is going to fit up under there. And kind of fold it down. Lock in the back first. And work your way forward. Check your buttons because the power button did go in a little bit. So you may want to take the pressure off. Hope it's almost going back right. So restart. Not a big major deal. So again, if I have to do more than one take, that'd be fine. As far as I'll edit it. So now, press down, you're going to hear it snap, don't worry. Now you're replacing your eight screws that you took out, and that's pretty much it. Again, those screw locations, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, back to normal. Thank you. Be blessed.